Hello and welcome. Good afternoon. Time to play some more Luxembourg with Luxembourg and try to conquer the world. And um, yeah, at the end of the last stream, the Germans declared war on the Soviets. It's our chance to go beat up the Axis. I'm already moving some divisions, uh, more divisions, to reinforce those dudes over there. We are gonna go above the supply limit for a while. Not a huge deal. Let's fabricate a claim on Germany. Not a big deal, but that's something that uh, not pleasant. Anyway, let's move half of this stack over there to the border. Our tanks are almost ready. This sucks. Let's wait a little bit. <laughs> Hello Viper. Good afternoon. Welcome. <laughs> okay, let's let's uh Hello what White Taker nineteen five, welcome and thanks for the good wishes. I'm going to create several small headquarters. I call them headquarters. These are this, this is basically the theater headquarters. These are these are basically the theater headquarters of Hearts of Iron Tree. That's what they are. <laughs> reason why I'm doing this is because I want them to gain a bonus, preparation bonus. for them to start gaining th that bones. I'm gonna change these arrows eventually. Let me see, am I forgetting about something? I don't think I am. Go to speed 4. You know what? Screw the screw the attrition. We have our tanks. They've been deployed. I need. I'm gonna rename them. Gonna, they're gonna be used as spearheads.
Full start, but this is gonna get gonna be. Um, it's just at the beginning. Gonna have lots of action pretty pretty soon. As usual, this is a way to thank my patrons on Patreon for being kind to support my channel and help me pay the bills. And you're almost done. If Viper is asking, how's the hunt for jobs going? It's... it's going. I have um, I have some perspectives, but so far nothing... Nothing... Con concrete? Don't know if that's even a word in English. Anyway, let's create... But I'm confident, like I said before, like, like I said yesterday, I'm, I'm confident for the first time in quite some time. Oh well, suffering some attrition, not the end of the world. Hello, uh, Blood Mac Twenty One. Good evening for you. For me, it's still good afternoon. Okay, let's create a front line over here. Wait, I just screwed up. Maybe not. Maybe not because the AI it always carries the orders until the end. Even if they're obsolete. Basically, what I want to do is rush these guys to the border with Germany. If they, I could, if I could trust the AI to do it, I mean, select a front, select a, a destination, press play, and, and they would go grab it. But I, I don't trust them. The, the AI would probably derp along the way. 
So I'm gonna do this manually. However, however, I'm gonna I'm doing this because they'll gain a bonus. They'll keep that bonus even if I cancel the point the the orders, the battle plan. Okay, everyone's gaining bonus, yes. Let's speed this up. Very tempted to disband these dudes, and, and I'm gonna do it. I have four extra, I'm, I barely have manpower, so... That's why... This is why. So the reason why I'm invading Italy and not the lowlands here, which is this is a wonderful place for, for tanks, is because I can quickly take Italy out of the war. I hope. I'm still gonna need some luck. Let's move these guys somewhere else, or else they'll be bombed. Oh, uh, talking about Bombers... Boom. Let's put them in the Alpine region. We have more. I don't think so. Yeah, we do have some some gladiators. What else? Evil bombers, I cannot use them to bomb stuff. Maybe I can use these dudes. Not sure though, never used them. In Hearts of Iron 3 I could. Air superiority. This is a naval bomber, naval bomber. This, this is all captured stuff, stuff that we captured. Sorry, I needed to do something off the game. Hello, she's wheel guy, very colorful. Piper is asking, do you think the Iron Curtain will rise or you'll take the USS o West? USSR over? Yeah, I'm gonna take them over. I don't know how much time after defeating the Axis, but I estimate one and a half years or so. And after defeating the Axis, so they won't last much longer. We still have some airplanes, let's, let's deploy them.
No, she's your guy. I don't think Germany will be able to take out the Soviets. Especially because they should be dead in under six months. This is so bad. Come on, give me the CB. 70% Now have advanced artillery What do we need next? Surely this one looks good Let's change this to advanced artillery Speed five until we have, until we have the CB. Are my tanks ready? Almost. Come on, 5% attrition, yikes, there we go, so let's go with rocket effort I think, how's the research, it's pretty far, the truth is that I don't want any of these, with exception of this one, but rocket effort can be useful. Can be useful because of because of these support rocket artillery soft attack plus five, rocket artillery plus five. But uh, in my case, it's the support rocket artillery that I want. Extra soft attack. Okay, let's declare on Germany straight away. No time to waste. The north is secure. I just want to say something before I forget it. This, the reason why I built level 10 forts across the front was to, of course, save as many units as I could to punch Italy hard. This is also a just-in-case measure, just in case Germany didn't attack the Soviets. So having all these forts here would allow me to uh, spare enough U divisions to quickly take out Italy. Then I would grab this mountain line over here. This, this is all mountains. Leave bare minimum of divisions here bring everyone to the north to encircle and destroy the German army in the plains. This is in the circumstances that I was fighting Germany without them being at war with the Soviets. Right now I don't think that's needed, we can simply push through the south towards uh, the interior of Germany, but I guess we'll see. Let's wait for Italy to join the war. So I could use, thanks to the level 10 forts, I could do huge encirclements, destroy a shit ton of German divisions. Even if they do, even if they were not at war with the Soviets, it would take longer, a little bit longer, but it wouldn't be a big deal. Come on, Italy, join. What the hell?
Italy still didn't join the freaking war. Do I have to? Do I have to fabricate the war goal? Come on, don't be shy. Finally. Alright, let's press execute on all of these. Instantly stop. Instantly uh, cancel them. the orders. They will keep the bones. Issue some manu manual commands. Oops, wrong. Damn. Over there. Then you can go... Then you can go over there. You can go straight to the fourth. You can go straight to the fifth. And you to the sixth. There are some other dudes here that are gonna go to that part. Cancel, cancel this order. The tanks are quite overkill over here, I think. This should completely overwhelm the Italians. Don't recall if I forgot something. Let's check. Let me says what? Nope. Let's watch it. What is rocket artillery good for against advanced artillery? Uh, rocket artillery is is very good as support. It's the in conjunction with regular artillery. Rocket artillery can be used as support. So that prov that provides a shit ton of soft attack with um, okay, while occupying zero width. All right, we have some tanks, so let's blitz. This is an overkill. Because these guys have a width of 18 if I recall correctly, so only 5 of them can fill the width. Uh, 
Not this one. Yeah, 16 ver uh, plus 5. That's 18. Times times 5, not plus 5. The uh, issue with translation. There are the rest of the dudes over here. Translation from my mind thinking in Portuguese, translating it to English. Let's see if we can uh, take advantage of speed of the tanks. We should all uh, uh, go very well, very fast. These guys are late. An overrun over there. Another encirclement. Not any longer. We already took Rome, let's uh, make a small change over there or else we would be cut off. And these tanks managed to be cut off. Not a big problem, just trying to move I mean just want to grab these provinces before the Italians and Germans manage to bring reinforcements Just as beautiful as cheese says, Pizza Lord. Come on, Pizza. You can do better than that. I was expecting you to say, as beautiful as pizza, not cheese, man. Cheese. Cheese is like the worst possible thing for a gamer. <laughs> Crap, uh, infantry moves quite, quite slowly. Of course I'm joking. Alright, they should do it. Guess I missed the spot over there. Another overrun. Wonderful. Um, don't tell me that I missed the spot. What the hell? Either that or they've stopped. Yeah, I missed this somehow. I miss these spots. Let's go fix it quickly. This is a big problem. Big problem. Can become a big problem.
No, it's not. It's, I'm not, it's not talking about Pizzle Lord, but you know. What I'm trying to say is that you're saying is as beautiful as cheese, but cheese, it's it's like we're similar to cheating for some players. This this is not cheating. For yourself, yeah, I'm speaking for myself. Like I said, I was joking. I'm not very good at, at telling jokes. That's why I usually don't tell them, because I usually make um, a very poor job. So I'm out of my league whenever I try to tell a joke, and it shows. So. Alright, uh, first stage of the plan was achieved, basically, now Italy needs to fall. Okay, I'm back. Let's hope we won't have more issues with drop frames. And let's hope for the sake of sanity, I don't try to tell more jokes. My sanity. <laughs> and that was another bad attempt of making a joke. Whatever. Let's let's move over there. Okay, let's see what, what this is going. I have the armor to do that, so let's wrap this up. <laughs> Thanks, Viper, you're very kind. And the uh, Blood Mac 21, too. We are we have nine divisions trapped here, this is really good. Really good because that might mean that they have no one in in this um, gar garrison this trait. Anyway It might be a good idea to um, to actually hold these and attack them over there. I'm not sure. The original plan was to build um some parts here. I'm not sure. They might declare war on the on Switzerland. I'm gonna push them over here. We have we don't have enough points yet to improve the infantry. Let's finish off Italy first before we make another move. Create another arrow for the battle plan bonus. We still have plenty, but still. These guys are gonna chill for a while. But while they're shilling, they're gaining some bonus. We 
Same thing with the armor. Okay, that fix fixes it. Don't scare me, Viper. You scared me for a, for a while, for a moment. You said Rusk is in Berlin. That scared me. That scared me because I want to take all of Germany. We need tungsten, yeah. Okay, good. This is done. I don't know. Let's let's move these guys. We're above the supply limits over there, so you do, we don't want to move them just yet. Think about it. You guys might um, you might need to do a landing over there. So let's do naval invasion. Just in case. We're about to overrun them. Yeah, nice. This is why I went with medium armor. They're much, they're much faster. We're here. We can go after Budapest. Make make angry surrender. Germany declared war on Switzerland as if they were not screwed enough. The Portuguese troops. Wonderful. over there to protect question is do they have any troops over there I 
gonna be disgusting if I cannot defeat um, the Italians. Okay, screw it. I'm gonna unleash the the army over on the Germans. We have 100,000 men in the pool. We only lost 3,000 with this plan. Italy lost 124,000. I think we can afford this. What we cannot afford is to wait. So, yeah. This really guys is paying to improve the infrastructure but it takes too long, it's a waste. It's a waste because soon we'll move past this area, so it's a waste of resources, I think. Sixteen. Let's do groups of eight. Go do it. Waste all my manpower. But whatever. I'm sure we'll survive it. Is no longer a threat. I think we can start disbanding some of these dudes, but not yet. Not yet. You're freaking ass.
What the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Okay, we have a surplus of 7000 tanks when we have 25 army experience. I'm gonna give five, uh, one tank to each of these divisions. To try to save manpower. I don't see any opposition, so. I'm gonna use the tanks almost side by side to avoid being cut off. Since the AI ceased using strategic redeployment as it used before, it's much less useful for armored offensives because your tanks end up always end up cut off. Thanks to lots of people complaining that the AI strategic redeploys too much near the front lines. Maybe they're right, but I don't like the new setting. I really don't. I wish we could customize it so everyone would be happy. Of course, this would go better, faster, we lose man, less men, so on and so forth. If I controlled things manually, but I, everything, but I don't want to do it because I can win without doing that. And it's, it's tedious when there's no challenge involved, just work. Looks like I'm not gonna be able to break through here. I must pay more attention to this. Let's go around. Maybe. Nope. Not gonna happen. I ask military access to those dudes. I'm gonna take territory in their name. Crap. Let's reinforce these. I wanted to encircle and destroy these dudes, but um, it's not gonna work. We need to break through. Basically what you are, we are doing here is pinning them down, that's why I'm continuing with, with this attack. Look at this mess. I'm trying to select the infantry here. Can you? Can we do it?
Okay, Turkey just went, joined the war. Hello, Jagged House, how are you? Okay, let's split these guys in half. This is taking forever. Fighting Portuguese here. Lovely. Just bitchy. I'm giving Portugal some industries for them to give troops to my enemies. There's lots a lots of randomness in this game, so What I'm trying to say this is this is stupid. I'm attacking into mountains with tanks. Pretty stupid, but we have the point is to try to encircle and destroy these guys over here. Sometimes we may we make it, sometimes it takes longer. But since these divisions are pretty much they're not invulnerable, but they're very... But uh, they are very resilient when attacked by some soft attack reach. Visions reach in soft attack. Again, the stupid AI. Jackals is look, is asking how the how is the world looking like? This is how it looks like. Come on, break them. So I've just lost forty six thousand men after uh, forty three thousand. Simply because I automated automated this, I'm not doing it myself. So um, I took Italy, taking only 13, uh, only 3k losses. Now compare it. This is heavy tank. Okay, let's let's make that change. So everyone should have the armor advantage. Pretty soon. Can we please cross? Get out of this mess. Finally.
Why the hell do, doesn't it select them? What I what I need? Finally. Such a. a Gonna say um, just garbage, 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 and more garbage. Keep them pinned down. Attempt an encirclement if at all possible, but uh, yeah. They've sent their entire army against the Swiss against Switzerland. They'll break, it's just a question of time. And casualties. I'm the one encircled now. Lovely. So I said I wanted to keep these dudes close to each other. I cannot do pincer movements without uh, more than twice the amount of armor needed to pull that off. Because if I do it, I'm gonna end up cut off. Did I lose convoys? Yeah, more more than likely. At this point, we should start having the armor advantage, yes. So... That's gonna be less costly in lives. But it's still gonna be very costly by, leaving, by letting the AI handle the army. to pull off an encirclement, bring them down, at the very least six divisions are going down, I hope. Shit. Again. Stupid controls. The um, 
the order to try to tell these guys to support its control 